three-month contract or a four-month contract, and then each year they're, they're, it goes up. Each year their their money their money goes up. We budget. We pay, but <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the thing about UK toilets is <laughs> the thing about UK toilets is yes, we can work in in, in Poland. But then if we do a good job, and then our next trips might be somewhere a bit more exotic, like like Kenya or South Africa or. Ethiopia or Mexico, so we have a, a, a range of tours. Okay. Well, that, that is about it from us. That is about it. Five minutes early. Okay, but that's about it from us. We have some, some questionnaires for you. Well, it's kind of publicity work I do for, for the community of, of people working in tourism in Poland. And uh, because I don't know if you're conscious that all the, all the crazy law we had in Poland since 19, exactly 1997, theoretically, to do any activity connected with tourists, with guiding tourists, you have to be authorized by the state. And my question is because many of the, of the lobbies say that this is everywhere in Europe, whenever you are in the UK or in Germany or Italy, you have to uh, pass a state exam to be a tour guide. How is it regulated in the UK? Uh, you, you are working in the big company responsible for uh, for uh, training your tour guides. That's a good question. <laughs> no, we, don't, we don't have any any state regulations uh, in the state to be a tour leader or a tour guide. You need you need uh, any qualifications. There's no legislation like that at all. Maybe in some specific points, like a museum, a very specific place. Um, but that tends to be commercial, that the museum wants to use their own guides and so they don't let an outside guide guide in that particular place. But, for example, to guide in London, to, to walk around the streets of London, pointing things out, to walk, to go to any of the other cities, Oxford or Bath or any of those cities, you don't need a national qualification to be a guide around those towns. You are changing a lot of people uh, for your children, sending them around the world. Uh, anybody can, uh, what, quali what qualifications uh, those children do have? I still have to, to be your tour guide. We're very, very open. We don't ask for any, any tourism background. We don't ask for any tourism degree. It's a, it's a bonus if it, if it happens. Um, we put the emphasis on the tour leaders to do their research, their historical research, so that they can give talks and information in the countries. But at the, the selection process, we don't ask for any national qualifications. So all our tour leaders come from backgrounds, scientists, engineers, teachers, um, people who've just worked in office. They just have a, a, a love for travel rather yeah. than quality. And there's no, and there's no legal problem uh, to send them with a tourist, with a, with a tourist group somewhere outside of UK? No. No, no. Sometimes, sometimes specific countries have uh, a rule. Uh, for example, in, e in Egypt, in yeah. some of the temples, yeah. uh, we can guide everywhere in Egypt but in, inside the temples, um, you have to use an Egyptian guide in that temple. But we can give all the information everywhere else in, around the country. It's just certain places have certain certain rules. Uh, do you remember in the past, uh, were there any discussions among, among politicians, among people working in travel industry, that this liberal should be uh, stopped and that uh, there should be any official state regulations for this? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> you can't, you can't it, imagine this. It would be far too, too bureaucratic, I think, to, to, to do that. It's been pushed onto the, the commercial aspect. If we have tourists, tourists coming in, um, it, you have to make it easy that you can get guides to, to lead those tours. Uh, if you put in place that they needed qualifications and they needed to pass exams, um, I don't think you'd have the number of guides which we need yeah, to, to, to run with the groups. If you remember the problem in Egypt, do you remember are there any other countries in the world when you are restricted, when, when you must take a local guide to, uh, you must pay for a local guide to, to enter some places, or did you guide uh, have any problems with that matter somewhere in the world? Um, not in not in Europe. I mean, take for example Norway, Sweden, Finland, um, Croatia, Serbia. We, we could we could we can work France. We can work without uh, having to use a local guide. Uh, Spain, Portugal, Italy. Uh, we don't need a, a local guide in those particular countries. Um, but for certain other countries, we have had to use them, but mainly for language barriers. For example, for China. To um, for checking into hotels and, and things like that.
but um, nothing specific in terms of what you need to find all. Okay, so I think that's, that's all we wanted to know. Thank you. Okay.